Welcome back YouTube. So today we're going to cover a topic that uh, I get quite a few questions on surprisingly. I didn't really realize there was this many people that are interested in uh, how to set up a staging limiter on their uh, mechanical setup on their P-Pump truck. So first I'm going to show you guys uh, on the bench here a uh, exactly what I'm using and how I'm uh, powering it and putting air pressure to it and all that good stuff. And then I'll take you over to the truck and I'll show you to you in action so you fully understand uh, how to set this up on your personal vehicle. So let's jump into that. So obviously on a uh, P-pump setup, something mechanically injected, there is no way to do any sort of electronic uh, fuel governing, uh, fuel control. Everything has to be done uh, mechanically. So you need to physically limit the amount of travel that you allow the pump lever. So essentially the amount of throttle pedal that you have. And the easiest way to do that is with one of these. So there's uh, multiple different brands, kinds of these. Uh, but essentially what this is, is this is a throttle stop <clears throat> that you'll commonly find on uh, normal carbureted race car stuff. Um, open car, I'm trying to think of that class, that comp eliminator, NHRA, uh, where guys are wanting to have, leave the line with uh, you know their foot flat on the floor, or they're using this to manipulate the throttle down track to kill it early so they can try to run a specific ET. So we use this to, um, this becomes our staging limiter mechanically with the pump. And I'll explain exactly how this works. So this is a, a Biondo, and like I said, there's several other ones. The ones that's actually on my truck right now is a Jags brand. Uh, but essentially, this side, the way I have mine plumbed up and set up, this side is where your uh, your throttle cable will actually thread into here. This is a uh, quarter 28, I believe. No, that's a quarter 28. I think this is a three, three eighths, whatever, fine thread, 24, whatever that is. And so anyhow, you just get a throttle cable that will thread into this side. So this is mechanically hooked to your throttle uh, cable. And then this, as you can see, it's got this travel here. And this is how you'll actually set it to how far you want it to move. And this is what's ultimately going to become your staging limiter. And then you'll see this air fitting here. This is how you'll put either CO2 or nitrous. Um, I use nitrous on mine because I have nitrous on board. No reason to add CO2 when you can just operate this off of the nitrous. So with air pressure applied to this, it will keep the uh, this actuator closed and then you can actually uh, put air pressure to that side and then block that one off and that would make it uh, open when you apply air pressure but uh, that's not how I do it I have this side mechanically uh, screwed into the throttle linkage the cable and then I'm putting air pressure to this side to keep it closed so when it's closed and this will make more sense when I show you guys on the truck. But when it's closed like this, when I am applying air pressure to this valve, uh, it is just like you see here. And this allows you to have a full range of throttle travel. And then when I hit my trans brake button, this, uh, basically it's a Mac valve. Uh, so this is going to allow pressure to go to the throttle stop or it's going to take pressure away from the throttle stop. So this is how you're electronically going to control this. Um, obviously I use my smart wire to control this. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, if you just have a basic setup, all you need to do is wire this into your trans brake button and <clears throat> that will uh, make your throttle stop, aka staging limiter, when you hit the, when you hit the trans brake button. So, when I hit the trans brake button and my foot is flat on the floor, this will be essentially like this. So I'll have a bunch of dead pedal uh, in the truck. My throttle pedal doesn't do hardly anything. It'll go almost all the way to the floor and then you can flat foot it. And this allows you to set where you want your staging limiter. So if you need more boost, you just 
move these uh, these locks over so that way it doesn't open up quite as much and then if you need less boost you just make it to where it mechanically moves the linkage less so this is essentially moving the pump linkage more or less when your foot is at wide open throttle inside but your pump is basically barely doing anything it's just barely moving which is giving you your staging limiter and then when you come off of the trans brake button this snaps back and now you have wide open throttle and you're back to having full throttle control so if you need to pedal it or lift or anything like that you're back to normal 100 percent uh, mechanical linkage between the pedal and this you have full throttle control so now i will go and show you the truck and show you exactly how it functions so that way you have a really good understanding of how to set this up in your truck so here's a look at how it's installed on the truck the throttle cable screws into the back of the air valve here the throttle cable uh, sh sheeting mounts to a little bracket that I made on the pump right here. And then the back of the air valve mounts to a lever that I made for the injection pump. And then, like I said, this is a JEGS brand. So if you get the cheaper ones, you actually have to make uh, that whole adjusting rod set up yourself. So. If, uh, if you could spend the extra couple bucks, that Biondo one's really nice, and it's a little lighter, so at some point I'll probably put that one on here. Uh, and then another thing that you're going to have to kind of play with a little bit is the actual mounting point on the pump lever that you make uh, to get the travel correctly. So that way you still have a full range of wide open throttle but it's still enough throw to do the staging limiter correctly. The first time I built this, <clears throat> I had the uh, uh, the lever where it mounts to the lever about an inch higher than it was and back. And I could set the staging limiter up really good, but I actually only had like maybe 5 eighths to 70% of throttle travel. So you'll have to kind of play around with your bracket setup. Mine ended up being really close to the pump lever and just a little bit forward of it uh, allows me to get it in that 18 to 25 pounds of boost range and still have uh, full throttle travel here so now i will uh, show you exactly what happens uh, when i am attempting to stage okay so right now we have air pressure aka nitrous going to the valve uh, it is fully operational, full throttle travel. Will you give me full throttle? Okay, you can see that the pump lever is all the way full throttle. Now let off. See, we have full range. Now it's back to idle. Full range of operation there. Now hit the throttle. Okay, now hit the trans brake while holding the throttle. All right, see how that just created our staging limiter. So now you can notice where the pump location is. Now let off the throttle. Well, <laughs> so, uh, no, she didn't do it exactly the way I wanted to, but basically you can see that the pump is just barely moving the throttle lever. Hit the, uh, go full throttle on it again. Now hit the trans brake button. Now hold the trans brake button and then let off of the throttle. Okay, so you can see how that throttle doesn't move hardly at all. Now, you're off the throttle. Okay, now let off the trans brake button. All right, so now we're back to full range of travel again. Now, the other thing, because I do not use a bump box uh, to stage with, if you had a bump box, you can just wire this uh, into your trans brake button so it would operate just like I showed you. Uh, but for me, I am staging with the foot brake and then rolling it in and setting the trans brake. So I actually have... Um, an input on the smart wire that goes to my brake pressure and so go back wide open throttle and then hit the uh, foot brake at the same time see now that makes my staging limiter too so now you can uh, spool up flat foot it and roll in with the brake and then set the trans brake and then when you let off the trans brake you can let off the brake goes right back to wide open throttle down track so Super simple setup. Uh, you can let go of the front. Super simple. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out, you know, where to put 
that uh, the lever, where the lever needed to mount to get the wide open throttle travel and the staging limiter I needed. And something that you might run into is the way your Mac valve is set up. Uh, if it's a three port one, you might have to play around with uh, which ports you use on it. But overall, it's really simple setup. You don't need a bunch of wiring stuff to do it. You don't need a bunch of plumbing stuff. Uh, if you don't have nitrous on your truck, you can just use CO2. Uh, say if you have an air shifter that you're using the CO2 to shift with, you can just T right into that and send that to your Mac valve and then the other side right to the throttle like that. So I uh, hope this was an easy video for you guys to understand that are looking into doing a staging limiter on your mechanical truck. So like always guys, I appreciate it and we will catch you on the next one.